This is John with a Major League Baseball playoff race update going into August 7th. Calculations are from the Playoff Computer web app at playoffcomputer.appspot.com. If you play fantasy sports, particularly football, I invite you to check out the tools there for creating playoff race drama for your league. In the American League, here are the latest odds for each team to make the playoffs. These are based on a coin flip probability of either team in a game winning and not weighted towards a quote unquote better team. In the AL East, the Orioles continue to cruise along, winners of four straight. Tampa has been keeping fairly close to them for the division and has a strong grasp on at least a wild card spot. The Blue Jays got back on track over the weekend by winning three straight. The Yankees and Red Sox lost some ground, particularly the Red Sox who have lost four straight and are three and seven over their past 10. In the AL Central, the Twins continue to improve their chances. And this time it wasn't just by having the Guardians stumble, they've added this thing called a winning streak into the recipe. The Tigers' slim hopes are vanishing fast. In the West, the Rangers have won six in a row to solidify their position, and the Astros are hanging with them. The Mariners have won five in a row and are eight and two over their past 10 to get into the wild card conversation. The Angels have dropped their last six and are going for disappointment of the year. The latest number running shows that 88 wins will likely be needed for a wild card spot. That is up uh, one from a few days ago. You can see the Orioles, Rangers, and Rays shouldn't have much difficulty reaching that. The rest of the wildcard field would need to play reasonably well to get there. If you're an Angels fan, you have to start asking, is there a realistic path? Is playing around 32 and 17 to finish the season and overtaking the Red Sox, Yankees, Mariners, and Blue Jays realistic? I'd say if they don't start doing it now, they will be joining the group on my list of teams that is realistically eliminated. The Guardians, of course, play in the AL Central. Just about all of their playoff odds rest on winning the division. So while they are likely out of the wild card picture, they are, they are still in it for the uh, Central. Although in a minute, I'll talk again about them, which might make everyone reconsider even that thought. The Tigers, White Sox, and the Royals, despite their recent six-game win streak, along with the A's, despite their current two-game win streak, are eliminated realistically. Here's the AL projections, both from a simple strength of schedule formula, along with those from team rankings. Thanks to them for letting me use their numbers. They've got a lot of good data to pour over at teamrankings.com. Either set of projections show the Blue Jays getting the last wildcard spot, with the Mariners and Yankees just needing to outperform these by a couple of games to be in it. A couple schedule notes. Tampa has a tough remaining schedule, including having the Orioles, Blue Jays, Mariners, and Yankees on their plate. Basically, the entire AL East does not have a walk in the park as they all will be beating each other up. But probably the toughest row to hoe is the Guardians. For a team playing uninspiring baseball to begin with, uh, though they do lead the league in literal knockouts, having the Orioles, Rays, Rangers, Dodgers, and Blue Jays is going to make things even more difficult. I mentioned it last time, the Mariners have a very nice schedule. They have a stretch in late August of 12 games against the White Sox, Royals, A's, and Mets. After just thumping the Angels almost out of existence, they could be the team to watch. In the National League, starting with the NL East, the Braves have lost two but are still the far and away front runners. Philadelphia has once again gotten above the scrum, while the Marlins have lost four in a row to watch their chances fall. In the Central, the Brewers and Reds are trying to outdo each other in an August collapse. The Brewers have dropped seven of ten and the Reds are on a six game streak in the wrong direction. Taking advantage of all this is the Cubs, who have seen their fortunes rise like dough with too much baking powder. In the West, the Dodgers are approaching lock-it-in territory. The Giants aren't too far away, but the Diamondbacks have lost six straight to melt into the Arizona sun. The Padres are hanging around, but hanging around isn't going to be a winning strategy. 
The good news for some of the middle of the road teams like the Padres is that it now is looking like 85, maybe even 84, is likely to be good enough for a wild card. The Braves are pretty much a shoe in for that, with the Dodgers not far behind. Many of the other contenders would just need to play around 500 or slightly better, with the Padres, like the Angels in the American League, needing to both win and overtake a lot of other teams, which is a tall order. The Mets, Pirates, Nationals, Cardinals, and Rockies are all realistically eliminated. Here's the National League projections from me and those from Team Rankings. They have the Cubs taking the last wild card spot with the Padres right behind them, while the simple strength of schedule projections show the Reds getting the last spot with the Cubs right there. In any case, it looks like there will be some entertainment to come. Notes on the schedule include bad news for the Marlins. They have a tough schedule with games against the Braves, Dodgers, Astros, and Phillies. The Giants get an onslaught of Braves, Dodgers, Phillies, Rangers, and Rays. While on the flip side, the Cubs are set up nicely to continue their winning ways of late with games against the Royals, Rockies, and Pirates. That's it for now. If you enjoy this content, there are a couple options to encourage it at playoffcomputer.appspot.com. Thanks again to teamrankings.com. Enjoy your day.